talk about is the differential equation which we say has order one. In other words, the greatest derivative that appears is the first derivative. There are no second derivatives involved. In other words, a problem where in terms of kinematics, you are told what the velocity looks like in terms of the time. Uh, in other words, and you want to find the answer in terms of displacement. dv dt equals, uh, dx dt equals something, find what x looks like explicitly in terms of t. Now, in general, what we're saying is all we know about a first order differential equation is that there is some relationship between the independent variable x, the dependent variable y, and dy dx. And the symbolic way of writing that is to say that some function, say capital F, of x, y, and dy dx is zero. That's just a mathematical symbolism for writing down the most general first order differential equation. Now, the question that comes up is twofold. One is, first of all, does equation one even have a solution? How do we know that just because we can state the differential equation that there is a specific function, say y is a function of x that satisfies the equation? And the second is, assuming that there is a function y as a function of x, in other words, that y as a function of x does satisfy this equation, how do we know that that solution is unique? Two questions. Does the equation have a solution? Is the solution unique? And I think that the easiest way to illustrate this is in terms of part one of our course, where we already solved a rather simple type of differential equation, namely that differential equation that had the specific form dy dx is some function of x. In particular, suppose I were to